Might look like some Spanish. No, no. Mustang make me look like an 80s, 80s porn star. <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Michelin from Michelin Makes with another vlog. I was trawling through my back catalogue of vlogs that I had and I came across the ones called Take 5 and I enjoyed making those because they're all five little things that have happened in that week or in my mind or whatever and I thought I would redo the Take 5 again. I think you might enjoy it. So here is the 2023 version of Take 5. The other day I received an email from a lady called Teresa Packer and she was asking me, do you remember when I bought those two Marks and Spencer's uh, blouses with the frills and I wanted to know if there was a pattern that was very similar? Well, I found some patterns, but this lady set, got in touch with me and said, uh, she sent me a picture and she said, is this the pattern that you wanted, that you're talking about? And I said, no, but it is a lovely pattern. And she says, well, I'll send it to you. And I said, well, if you want to send it to me, you know, I mean, don't want to take it off you. And um, she said, no, I'll send it to you. And when she sent it, she sent more than one pattern. She said, I've added a couple of other patterns. So maybe one of them is more the shape you're looking for. And you can hack a flounce for it. I look forward to seeing which one you ad adapt to get what you want. And Teresa was saying, I mainly sew dresses, but I have... I have thought I should challenge myself to make skirts and tops for myself but I do have a few dresses already cut out so I should do them first. Um, she says watching your videos has definitely made me think especially when you dye the makes that you don't like the colour of. Yes I often do that. Um, I have this habit of buying dye and then dyeing the clothes, dyeing the fabric. If you go back to some of my back um, my back vlogs, I'll put an example up here, you'll see that uh, I often dye fabric. That If it's something, quite often Jenny used to send me some fabric and um, if it just didn't look the right colour, if I had to, sometimes she'd send me the same the same colour in different patterns and I didn't want it all the same colour. So with it being cotton jersey, I often dyed it and that made a big difference. So yes, I used to dye it. So anyway, Teresa has sent this pattern and the one she first mentioned was a pattern that I've never heard of called Size Me Sewing dot co dot UK. And that was the, um, I don't know if you can see there, that was the blouse with a frill down the front. This is called the VN blouse and it's by so me no size me sewing dot co dot uk. This is the back of it and you can see that the frill it's actually a piece of fabric that seems to hang down but it isn't. I went and looked at the um I look, it's got lovely pattern instructions it's got the instructions and the good thing about this particular one is it says at the very bottom it says includes a free youtube tutorial for beginners and experts and i know a lot of beginners like to have a tutorial on how to make something but i got the pattern out and i was looking at it it's basically a blouse there's a good instruction booklet with lots of uh pictures to show you um a photographic um, guide that guides you through how to sew it. It's got the measurements on the front, the measurement chart on the front and uh, as I say it does have a video but right the way through I was trying to see, I looked at the pattern, the pattern comes in a big sheet like this and when I opened it out I couldn't find the frill because I thought the frill was actually part of the um, I thought it was something you attached to it but it wasn't because what they do if I can get this folded and put back the way it was what she's done what this lady has done in her design is I've got this all wrongly folded but anyway what she has done is she's basically she takes the top and makes it a lot wider than that sort of can you see she makes it like that and what you do is you make a little notch there and it hangs down and by hanging down it makes a frill all the way down and 
I thought it was quite a nice idea. Get myself straightened up now. It's quite a good idea. Whether it would hang properly or not, I think you'd have to have a fairly soft material to make that make it do that. But I thought I might try that and see what, what it looks like. So um uh, so I thought I might try it and see what it looks like. So um yes, I will I will have a look at that one. And that one, I'll repeat it again, it's sizemesewing.co.uk. Never heard of them. And uh, she has got some nice clothes. When I looked it up, she has got some nice uh, patterns. I'll put them up there to let you see. So Size Me Sewing was the first one that Teresa sent me. Then she sent me um, three, she sent me three others actually. The f next one, I wasn't sure if I liked or not. And the, I think two of them are from uh, free. In fact, I think they're all, they were all ones that you got free with the magazine. Uh, so quite a lot of you may have these and this one was the I am Cinderella I am Cinderella pattern not bad I think there's a, there's another view it has got a frill on on this what not so much on that one but on that one she has a frill on the sleeve and it shows you the frills on the sleeve uh, nowhere else but it is quite a wide if you look at these the the diagrams here it's quite a wide pattern i think if i made that I'd have, I'd have to make it a bit longer i'm not keen on the length uh the same with that one i don't like to show where my crotch is i like it to cover that part because some, I, i'm probably like a lot of other people in my age you do tend to go out at the front there and to show that when you've got your when your blouse goes up it's not very nice so i would probably make that a bit longer not my first choice but i will have a look at it then the next one was uh oh sorry just so that it, that was the next it's by i am patterns and this came with simply sewing magazine the next one there's quite a lot of um of patterns are very similar to this one and i've already made a couple like this so i'm not sure if i would do it again but this is another simply sewing magazine one and it is called the amina set and that is the amina set it's a dress but also you can do a shortened version of a blouse i quite like that i like the sleeves there i thought the sleeves were quite nice there so I, I might just do that blouse i like the v on it it's got a nice v and if you look at you can see the diagrams down there as to what it would look like um so i, I do i quite like the blouse um i'm not sure about well I've, as i say i've made a few like this so they're very similar in patterns to other ones then the third one was simplicity k8337 with a little keyhole neckline i'll come a bit closer keyhole neckline not my cup of tea with the neckline but i but what the reason why she sent it was there was this one has a frill going down so i would probably do that one with a sleeve like that a longer sleeve so that is quite a possibility i quite like that that frill there so i might get the pattern now just to see the frill itself and the back of it is like that you can see the backs so it would probably be view d with the view a frill view d with the few with view d with the view a frill and it says is this for stretch it must be for stretches it's it on the back it's got a pick in it rule so i would imagine it's for stretch knits but i would i wouldn't necessarily oh th this little short sleeve one that has a that has a frill as well you can't really see it very well but um ah it says it's for stretch knits only jersey ity knits stretch lace so it's for stretch knits that one that's another one i might do so the two that i'm particularly keen to look at is that one and this one so thank you Therese that's very kind of you and I said did you want some money for it and she said no so she sent me these four patterns and I shall enjoy having a look at them and possibly fingers crossed I get round to doing at least two of them hello everybody well 
we are going on a magical mystery tour because oh god we're on a very bound bumpy country road which is bouncing up and down i've got you in my hand and it's bouncing up and down we are going somewhere a magical mystery tour because he's driving i think i know where we're going we're going somewhere that we'll we've been once before and he quite liked it but it's his lordship's birthday and his lordship is i said i'd treat him for for a, his lunch and i said i'm going in my car and he said no we'll go in mine so if i had been driving i'd know where i would have taken him but because he's driving he's taking me where he wants to go for his lunch so um Yes, so that's where we are heading off, aren't we? That was all um, fairly long-winded. Um, well, not just long-winded, but vague. 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 Yeah. As in what way? Well, there was not a lot of detail. It was just like we would have. Right. Well, you t you say it your way then. Ready? Start again. Hello. We're going on a magical mystery tour. Are we going to on this magical mystery tour? I'll tell you. We're going to a little village called Sedgefield. Sedgefield? Yes. Have we been there before? We've been there once before. Have we? Yes. Is that where we went a few weeks ago we after went... we'd been to visit the Binchester Roman Fort? The very one. Check that out. <laughs> um, and uh, yes, it was. Um, a wacky cafe. A wacky cafe. And I quite liked it. Which he quite liked. Purple or pink it was, wasn't it? It was, well, you, you, you can video it when we get there. And, it uh, was a zen cafe. Yeah. A zen cafe. So, carry on, yours, your mind. Oh, sorry, yes. Um, and it, it was a zen cafe. Um, but we only go there now and zen. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and... Yeah. Um, oh, we're turning around the corner. Ah! <laughs> and, um, no. Oh, gosh. oh god! Sorry, it's a narrow bridge. Can't, <laughs> got to let the van through. <laughs> right. Sorry about that. Well, at least we didn't get the the, the hump. <laughs> I let you see the countryside. Oh, a hedge. A hedge. A hedge. Well, it's. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it's a Zen cafe, and it's um, it's uh, decorated accordingly, and the menu is slightly different. We quite like the menu, yes. And the yes. menu is. It uh, did take a long time to get the food when we were there the last time, but it was because they reckon the lady whose whose um, cafe it was was on holiday, and the young girls who were doing it they didn't know where anything was. So, so there, there, there it is. Sim simple as that, really. And uh, I've no doubt that um, um, my lady, wife, see, because I'm a lord. Lord, his lordship. Yeah. So his you're lady, my lady wife. I'm the you're lady my wife. wife. <laughs> um, my lady will uh, take some appropriate pictures and, um, and, and share, let see and share them life. with you. Yes. Okay. Yes, I will. Yes, I mean, then we'll get to see what it's like, but you don't have to say that. You just have to say, we'll share them with you. Okay, so we'll see you later. And then it's like a gift. Well, finish it off then. Well, that's it. Oh. We'll, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later then. We'll be back. We'll be back. This is Sedgefield, which was the, what do you call it, domain, the county for Tony Blair. It was a constituency. It was a constituency for Tony Blair. And we have a church behind here. Very pretty church indeed. Very nice. And this is the main street. It's terrible. And our Zen Cafe is just up the road. I think it's a game where they've got to press the button. It's a game, they've got to reach up and press the button. No, it's a ball, <laughs> isn't it? Is it a ball? Yeah. What does it say? 
It's something about Sedgefield Shrove Tuesday ball catching, I do believe. The thing we've been looking at, which is the people, the the boat, men holding a ball. Yeah, that's the, it's been played in Sedgefield for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. Since the Masons working on the church. Which was behind us. Which was behind you, there. challenged the locals back in the 14th century. And it starts when an honoured guest passes the small ball, which is just bigger than a cricket ball, or for the Americans, a baseball. A baseball. Um, through, a, through the bull ring, and he throws it to the players. And then what happens then, apparently, is chaos. <laughs> right. Lordship was amused by the title of this pub called the Pickled Parson. <laughs> There's a few of them about. I There's think. a few pickled parsons about. And uh, the cafe we're going to is just to the left there before the bus. This is the place that we're going to, the Zen Den. Wellbeing Coffee Lounge. Let's see what it's like. Do we oh, do we sit down or do we come yeah, and tell you? Yeah, you? There's menus on the table. Okay. Have you had a nice birthday today? So far. So far. 
Well, let's hope the rest of the day is good, as good as the first half of them. Interviews. Interviews. Interviews and cafes. Okay, right. See ya. So we've had a lovely meal and um, poached egg, poached egg, and avocado ba bacon. Avocado bacon. Smashed, and avocado. Po smashed avocado bacon and poached egg on bread, and it was lovely. This thing on your face makes your lips stick out. It's because it's, it's cause I'm black. I've got black hair around right there. Right. I keep thinking he's going like this. Hey, well, the thing is, if I, if I shaved the grey beard off and just left the black moustache, they'd all think I was 53 and not 73. Oh, well, why don't you try that? No, because I don't like moustaches. You might look like some Spanish... No. No. Moustache make me look like an 80s, 80s porn star. <laughs> I've got two friends who, who had black moustaches when they were younger and they both looked as though they'd come Yeah, the other, day, the other day he came across the picture, he says, I'm going to send this to Peter. He says, he looks like a porn star. I said, Brian, you've already sent that to him about three <laughs> times. He says, have I really? I said, yes. I said, dementia's setting in. Repetition, repetition. <laughs> repetition, repetition. It's like all old people. Have I told you this before? <laughs> yeah. So I'm, anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm my other friend, John. What about um, him? Well, he, he, he... Oh yes, when, every time I stop at their house, there's a picture on, in the bedroom wall of him and he's had, he's bald headed now and he, I can't imagine having black hair, but he has this black hair and he, he keeps saying you look like a porn star. He does, but he takes that as a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we've had a lovely meal and uh, we, really nice except a bit of fun and games at the end because I'm supposed to be paying for the meal and guess who forgot her purse so he had to pay for his own birthday, for his own birthday. <laughs> and not only that we walked out he paid by had to pay with the pit with the card machine we walked out it was an unusual card machine it was a, a one of these white ones an apple pay or something and we walked out and then a few minutes later the guy came running after us panting saying excuse me excuse me uh, could you come back because you've actually it's i think it was his mistake was it his mistake no it's the machine's mistake he says it's actually taking your pin number as the money instead of instead of the amount or something so we had to go back and uh, Get it, get it sorted, but they couldn't. They didn't know how to refund because it was a strange machine. So they had to go through all the instruction manual to find out how to refund. So in the end, they decided they were going to deduct, to give us the difference or something. But in the end, they decided we'll refund the whole lot and then they could pay again. So we did that. But it was a very nice, a nice meal, nice place, thoroughly nice enjoyed people. it. Nice people, yes. We can recommend it. So if you ever. Near Sedgefield, you should go there. Yeah, very tell them, nice. Tell them we sent you. Tell them we sent you. We might the, get couple, a free the couple who, who the, where the wife was paid for his birthday present, birthday meal, and she didn't have the cards, and he and he paid he paid his with his pin number. I paid three times over. Three times over. Mm. There you go. Anyway, we'll Bumble. catch you later. Now, do you remember when I had that giveaway where I gave away some orange crepe de chine fabric? Well, I uh, I sent them off and to all of you people and I got a lovely response back from Sandra O'Keefe. Now, Sandra, I know you sent me this. When did you send me this? The 23rd of August. It is now the 26th of September and I promised I would put it up and I never got round to doing it. Sandra got in touch with me and said, Hi, Micheline. This is what I made from your lovely material. I had enough for a top. It's the Pleiades dress by French Poetry. It's an easy pattern. Thanks again and best wishes to you both. And this is the top that Sandra made. I'll put it up there. You can see it. It's turned out beautiful. And my response to her was that actually a few days prior to this, I came across for the first time the Pleiades dress by French Poetry. 
and I downloaded the pattern. I bought the pattern. I downloaded it. I cut it out. I made the a garment. I made a dress. But somehow or other, the sleeves didn't work for me. And I put it to one side. And I thought, oh, I'm going to do it later on when I've got time to do it. And uh, so I put it to one side into a bag. And not realising that a few weeks later, when we were clearing things up here, his lordship picked up the bag and put it in the bin. Because I said, oh, you can get rid of all that stuff there. It's got to go in. Some of it had to go in the bin, in the tip to the tip some of it was going in charity and I said there's a basket there going to charity and there's this going to the tip to the to the, going to the refuse tip and he picked the bag up which I hadn't realized and that went the journey so I never got a chance to finish it off it was looking nice except that I wasn't happy about these sleeves I think the sleeves have a little bit of a, a puff uh, a little gathered and top and I couldn't get away with that but I'll show the pattern is that and once again, I'll show you Sandra's picture because it was there. Wasn't that lovely? She's done a beautiful job on it. Well done, Sandra. I'm really pleased. I'm pleased you enjoyed making it. I'm pleased you like the fabric. And I hope you enjoy wearing it. This next piece is about something I've just made. And it's something I want... I've been wanting to make this for a long, long time because... It's the purpose that I wanted it for has been driving me mad and I kept saying I've got to make this I'm gonna make one I'm gonna make one and um, I finally made one it didn't take very long to make out of my head and let's see if you can guess what it is <laughs>
I have this habit of um, saving pictures when I'm looking on my phone and I see something I think oh that's nice I'll save it and over lockdown I saved an awful lot of pictures of garments of someone who's made clothes of, of uh, types of clothes and all sorts lots of things everything to do with sewing and fashion and style the whole lot and so I've decided I've got to start clearing these out because I've got far too many photos that have been saved so this one is a co is, is an it caught my eye during covid and you might enjoy looking at them some of them you may not want to make but their ideas are for people who sew people who want to change designs with people who want to be creative so this is it caught my eye <music> you've enjoyed that take five for this week and uh, next week I'll have another take five or maybe it's even before next week you never know I'm gonna love you and I'm gonna leave you and I'm gonna catch you next time bye <laughs>